So I'm Howard Chalmers, um, and I have been in a ton of product roles uh, throughout my career, and I had sort of a roundabout way of getting to product management. So I started off right out of college as a consultant, uh, did some software development, moved into project management, um, got an opportunity to build and lead a customer support team for a product that I had been implementing for a while. I did that twice, worked for a little startup, um, got to do, you know, wear multiple hats there, implementation, customer support, a little bit of uh, custom SQL for customers, and found that, that through all of that, the thing that I enjoyed the most was the customer interaction and sort of got the most satisfaction around. And then the, the startup that I was working for got bought and I ended up moving around with that product um, in a couple of different roles. Also, again, sort of some project management and some customer support there. And when we got a, um, we had a new chief product officer that came in and she was responsible for all the product development, product management, everything rolled up to her. And she brought Marty Kagan in to help her have some conversations and restructure the product team. And so Marty had some interviews with some, some leaders, um, probably interviewed 40 or 50 folks. We did a week long workshop and then he stayed around and consulted with us for almost a month after that workshop. And it was a conversation with him where, you know, he said, you've done all of this stuff. You know, you're in the wrong role, right? And I said, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I've, I've always had this opinion of product managers and their ivory tower coming up with all these ideas that the rest of us real workers had to go and, and execute on. Um, but what I learned was because of the customer interaction, because of the creativity required, product management is probably the most fulfilling uh, job out there. It's one of the hardest, but it's amazingly fulfilling. So I ended up taking a product management role at that point and have done that for you know, the better part of the last decade and in individual contributor roles and leadership roles and love it, just absolutely love it. So, you know, I've heard um, the number one skill is curiosity. I've heard the number one skill is listening. I think um, the ability to synthesize is critically important. But to me, the most important thing is the ability to not be emotional when someone calls your baby ugly, um, you've got to be able to take feedback and take criticism and learn from that and take your product in the direction that it really needs to go to solve the true need.